Ferretti Group is a world leader in the design, construction, and sale of luxury yachts and pleasure vessels. Heir to Italy's centuries-old yachting tradition, it vaunts a unique portfolio of prestigious, exclusive brands from Ferretti Yachts, Pershing, and Riva to Itama, Custom Line, Wally, and CRN. Helmed by CEO Alberto Galassi, Ferretti Group owns and operates six shipyards across Italy, combining efficient industrial production with quintessential Italian craftsmanship of world-class caliber. Their vision is to set the trends of tomorrow in the luxury yachting world, to be a beacon for the entire industry, to inspire excitement, dreams, and desire in a relentless pursuit of quality, innovation, and distinction. Ferretti Group aspires to be the world's most influential luxury yachting group through their technology, sustainability, and economic achievements. Their mission is to deliver exceptional yachting experiences to customers worldwide. They attempt to set the standard for quality, sophistication, and client care, backed by a drive for exclusive design, impeccable performance, and cutting-edge technology. What we are looking at from their lineup today is the Ferretti Yachts 920, which up until recently was their largest vessel before the reveal of the 1000 series. Before we start, if you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you love it, subscribe and ring the bell for more videos just like this. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, be sure and let us know in the comments below. The 920 is a blend of striking lines, unmistakable style, charm, and performance. This highly innovative maxi flybridge is designed with an impressive collection of spaces, featuring sumptuous decor, multi-purpose relaxation areas, and a classic contemporary interior feel. She is a quintessential of well-being and style. A boat with an ambition for innovation to match her grand scale, the Ferretti Yachts 920 exudes the easy power of a nautical giant. This fantastic flybridge is a true design original, the first in the range to embrace the wide body concept. Her majestic presence makes a striking first impression. The eye-catching profile is underlined by the detailing on the gunwale, which extends beyond the bulwark walkways and intersects the master cabin window like a blade. Yet with a hull length of 24 meters, she can be registered as a pleasure boat. Her dynamic, impressive lines further develop the style tenets that have earned international praise for the new models launched in recent years in a complete revamp of the fleet. Besides the striking raised bow, the external spaces also impresses with an array of areas to relax in amid the resplendent decor. And the remarkable interiors are as roomy and elegant as you'd expect to find on a superior class of yacht. The expansive flybridge holds a port dining area aft of the cockpit and a large couch with a table starboard. Further aft is a lounging area, allowing one to gaze at the ocean beyond. A deck below on the main deck, aft, there is another dining table and a lounger. The shape of the yacht itself is a pleasing white and black wedge, proportionally very beautiful if perhaps a bit uninspired. I do however like the off black look of the flybridge canopy as it provides a bit of a different look than the rest of the exterior. As for stats, the 920 carries 2,378 gallons of fuel and 349 gallons of fresh water. She has a top speed of 26 knots and a cruising speed of 22 knots. Now, I really love the interior of the 920. Actually, after seeing the interior, that's what made me want to do a video on this yacht. Now, everyone has different tastes, but the interior of this yacht really resonates with me. Uh, the interior has a uniform look throughout with light flooring, a light glossy ceiling, darker wood paneling, and blue and gray fabrics. The look and feel is soothing, luxurious, and very cozy. I love it. Moving forward from the aft section of the main deck, entering the interior, you're met with a L-shaped couch, chair, and coffee table opposite a large TV. Just past this living area is the large dining table with eight chairs, plenty for a large family or friends gathering. Behind the tasteful wall art is the fully featured galley. The entire forward fourth of this deck is the master cabin, an extremely spacious escape into comfort and style. There is a king-sized bed with a large TV in front, a seating area starboard with tons of storage port. Then there is a series of steps where you step down into the bathroom, which is, is very cool. The lower deck is host to two VIP suites, a guest suite with dual bunks, each with its own ensuite. Further forward is the crew quarters with a day head, a small galley and seating area, and plenty of sleeping space. 
Honestly, the, the crew quarters are surprisingly large for a vessel of this size. Aft of the lower deck, taking up about one third of the deck is the engine room, powered by dual MTU 12V2000M 96Ls. This is the first Ferretti yacht we've reviewed on this channel, and I like what I've seen. While the exterior was sleek but somewhat unexciting, I really love the interior as somewhere you could live in, not simply vacation. So what did you think? Do you want to see more of Ferretti's offerings? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. But if you loved it, consider subscribing and ringing the bell for more videos just like this one injected into your YouTube feed. I'm Phil, thanks for watching.